Hello everyone, it's Matt here. Uh, welcome, you know, welcome to 2015, everyone. I uh, hope everybody had a, you know, some happy holidays and a, you know, and a safe and happy new year. Um, you know, I, I, I thought about, well, you know, first let me say, um, you know, the new year, you know, it always, you know, I mean, it comes like clockwork, as they say, you know. A time for change, a time, you know, a time for new beginnings. So, um, I decided to ring in, uh, the new year, with an LP of an extremely old video game. Uh, one of my all-time favorites, and, oh, I gotta make the video bigger for a second so I can actually reach my files. Genesis. Uh, it's a slightly modified... Uh, version uh, of the ROM. One of my all-time favorite games, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, with uh, Sonic and Knuckles, the complete version of Sonic. Oops. My control seems to be kind of strange. Ah, no, it won't be that big. Guess how I'm gonna do the videos is just do uh, a video for each zone. Uh, you know, so I kind of like to play around. I'm not much of a speedrunner when it comes to Sonic. Oddly enough, uh, I prefer to end the level with upwards of 300 rings. So I'll try to curb that habit for you all. This isn't a particularly, probably not going to be a particularly impressive LP. I mean, this is a cool game, I'm sure it's been done hundreds of times, so it's a game that's, you know, very near and dear to me. Uh, you know, just the series in general. It's technically going to be a double feature. Uh, those of you that are, you know, that intend to keep watching. There will be another Sonic game after this one, you know, like right after this one. I've got some other stuff planned with uh, some friends and, uh, Another game uh, after this, it's like a cigarette or a recent game, I think. Uh, I don't care about it recently, so I'm not sure how old it's at this place. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a fairly new word compared to this one, so. One thing that always tripped me out is that, even though it's running in a really beautiful 3D, Tails always. You know, Tails is always a step behind you, but he still turns on, like, you know, they pivot on the very corner of the square to get I don't plan on getting all the rings on all of them. I have done it. Uh, I, I think the red Super Emerald is the one that kind of gives me some change in getting all the rings. It's that one where you basically just run the straight path and then you just turn occasionally. Uh, where any other deviation from the very, the very obvious set path will result in, like, instant, like, loss. Come on. I don't plan, yeah, I don't plan on collecting all the rings for all of them. I just like to get that one, because it's easy. And yes, I do plan on spamming Supersonic for the end. Oh man, it's kinda laggy. Oops. Dang, I was gonna try to spin dash so I could just push it and then... There's like a glitch or something where you can, um... Like, spin dash against the rock. Oh, hey, no! God, no, not the end. Oh, there's details. I'm only gonna do this one once as well, just for any of those who, uh, you know, may have not ever played this game, just to see all the different features. Oh, 
always like how Tails could trigger those, uh, ah, gosh. How he could hit those springs and then it would not, uh... How it would not make the springs disappear. Actually, don't know how, how much commentary I'm going to be able to provide during this pretty straightforward game. Probably be my favorite soundtrack of anything of all time. I mean, easily. why it was like that. Tails learned to take fire, right? Learned to take it without being thrown back. Damn it! Tails, knock it off! I'm trying to get it onto the tree. I had a feeling there'd be something under there, but I guess not. As you can see, my time bonus is abysmal. And it only gets worse. Oh, <laughs> 
I can't remember, but I have the, you know, I have the Sonic Mega Collection on the game. And Blue Spear, the, uh, that, that game is, uh, that, that hidden game when you put games like, uh, you know, any other game on top of Sonic and Knuckles, when it wasn't like a Sonic game, and it would give you like a randomly generated level. But like, if you put on Sonic 1, and press A, B, and C together, it would let you start from map number 1. And I, every time you got uh, a perfect on the level, uh, you know, being that you collected all the rings and on the map, you could skip ahead 10 levels. And I remember in like, over a, over the course of a week, this is back now, so I kind of had a limited amount of time to play the game. Uh, every day. Got about to, I think, around map 500 or so. I kind of want to start that up again, but... like trying to get down at the bottom of the sea of water. Reach the bottom. I can do it if I'm trying oh shoot it's uh two rings. I don't like to be the type of gamer, especially now that I'm older. I never really did it as a child. Um, but to this day, uh, I am absolutely convinced that any sort of slot machine in a video game cheats. No matter what. Always. stuck on that would usually take me more than one try, like I had to do more than one try with one sitting. Never liked the red and white motif either, I don't like the color red very much. Never have. Kind of a lag in the sound, and it does have like a lower frame. I think this was one of the songs that was actually composed by Jimmy Sinway. I kind of forgot to finish that song earlier. That's what I heard, I can't remember. He has it on my website. Oh, because I only ever speak through the levels that don't give you a time bonus. I'm gonna try to get all the emeralds before, uh, before, uh, the end of, uh, the next zone. But, uh, I can't make any promises. I usually have to do it, uh, in the first bonus ring of, uh, Marble Garden. I have the electric shield or something. Let's see. Dang it, it's a stupid smart machine. Ah, uh, no! Dang it! It traps you in there, it makes you do it at least once. And that's part of how it cheats. You know because sometimes you get ro uh, triple robotics right off the bat. You use a hundred brains. You're up completely helpless. This was something that always bothered me. I always wanted to get up on top of that wall. I saw my friend Chris, I let him borrow my, an old friend of mine, I let him borrow my Sonic Mega Collection one day. And I got to see him get stuck up on that He was able to stand up there off screen. What's that bad for him? Like, he's 
jumping though, I can usually keep it. fall down here and, and not get instant death and that never really made sense to me. If you fell off here, right here, while fighting Robotnik... Yeah, that's it. Alright, well that's the end of this zone, so, uh, you know, until next time, everybody take care.